to me one of the greatest symbols of spring in the vegetable garden is asparagus. There's just nothing quite like the flavor of it, particularly when you can cut it out of your own garden. So you can just see, let's look at the color. It's so beautiful. This recipe is called ginger sesame stir fry asparagus. So what we're going to start with is I'm going to turn on the stove here and just begin to heat this skillet at medium temperature. Then I'm taking this olive oil, that's two tablespoons of olive oil. The first thing you want to do is you want to take half a red bell pepper. You can see I've already cut these into little long fingers. What we're going to do is we're going to just lightly stir fry these until they're tender. You still want a little bite to them. You want them slightly al dente. So we're going to get this going. So it really only takes about uh, two or three minutes to get the pepper ready. Now I'm ready to take the asparagus and what I did is I used about oh uh, two dozen spears about of this diameter. That's about a pound and a half of asparagus. And you see I cut it into these small, there we go, these small pieces. Mm, it really smells good and we haven't even put the, the, the spicy stuff in here. Now this recipe has, as I mentioned, wonderful flavors but also has a little bit of a bite to it. And um, now that I have this mixed up, I'm ready to take um, I have one tablespoon of soy sauce and I have one tablespoon of fresh chopped ginger root that I'm adding here. It doesn't take much. And then to give it a little fire, I have a quarter of a teaspoon, and you can add more if you really like heat, uh, of red pepper flakes, all right? And that is really all there is to it. Um, and what I would do is uh, now take this and, oh, the aroma is fantastic. Uh, let it cook for just a few minutes longer. One thing to remember on the asparagus is you don't want to cook it too long. What I did is I just took uh, about two inches of water in this very pan and put the cut asparagus in here and boiled it for just right at five minutes and then took it off the heat and dumped it in the colander immediately and ran cold water over it. You could actually put some ice to cool it down so it doesn't continue to cook. Now, wrapping this up, I think we've cooked it long enough. Last two ingredients, two teaspoons of toasted sesame oil, another great flavor, and one teaspoon of sesame seeds. And there you have it. It's a real crowd pleaser. Give it a try.